Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go check out Spirit Halloween. Yeah, we do this every year. So we are in Georgia and we're gonna check out Spirit. Come get lost with us. Spirit. There's some Korean barbecues. There is a Desi Brothers Farmer's Market by it. And then something interesting down there is a Phantom Fireworks. I used to have a friend that worked at Phantom Fireworks for a very long time. It's been a while. Let's go check out the animatronics. I think what's interesting though is it's been really hard trying to find a Spirit Halloween store this year. You teach a class about slashers, and you still walk into a dark alley alone. That's a cool scream guy. That's really neat. Step right up. Come on, come on. Everyone is welcome. However, no entrance is free. <laughs> So what's his name? It doesn't say. Yeah, I don't see a name for him. Let's head into the carnival, y'all. See what we got. I like the carnival music this time. Yeah. Check this out. In case you wanted a rat or popcorn. And they have this. Okay, let's see. Wheel of Fate for Nacy. She gave it a light spin. There's no clicker, so we're just going to assume where she lands on. Whatever ends up there is what... I think the slider too probably slows it down too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh, she got death. I got death. Oh, oh no, no, eh? No. Your luck just ran out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> I like the little rats. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's popcorn. Oh, Nacy just saw Casper, the friendly ghost. You're in the wrong place, Casper. <laughs> Casper seems out of place here, y'all. I'll check him out. He's cool. You want to push the button for Scarecrow? I see that. You want to push the button for Scarecrow? This guy's a little pitchfork. This is what Nacy wanted to show. Killer clowns from outer space. It looks like a dog toy, but... It it's does. not a toy, but I would totally get this for Daphne. <laughs> Interesting. Now, I haven't seen this movie yet, but he's kind of like everywhere on TikTok. <laughs> he is a little creepy. And there's the seagull missing part of his rib there. And then there's this guy. I wonder what this guy does. He's the cremator. Oh, wow. That's neat. Check out this guy. Look how tall he is. This is that's the ceiling. Oh wow. That's very alien esque. I like it. Yeah. That was cool. He's very alien. He is really tall. Yeah, he's huge. 350, in case you're wondering. And it says his name is Giant Death Ray. Okay. This is one of my favorite parts about Spirit is these setups. They have this little like uh, Spirit Fortunes. Yeah, just like the one from Boulder City, Zoltar, the Evernoi. 
I like how he has the bowl of candy in the middle, so you put the candy in there, and then as they get close, he jumps. That's fantastic. And this guy's Art the Clown. Okay, that's his name. I knew I, I knew his knew his name. Ooh, check this guy out. Let's check him out. Oh wow. That's weird. So this animatronic follows you. You can see as Nacy's like moving, he's following her. Oh my gosh, that is cool. Oh hey. Let's see. Look at that, he follows me. Look at that. That is spooky, y'all. And his name is Nibbles the Clown. He, he got locked on the spider. That is cool, man. Wanda Websworth. Oh, Wanda. Cotton Candy Dan. Attention all kiddos! Oh. Attention all kiddos! I found a lost parent! Okay, that was scary. That was a little scary. That was a little scary. That was cool. anyone here? <laughs> <laughs> So they have cotton candy from Killer Clowns. That's cool. I would totally put some of those in my eye. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dagger Mike, Betty Sharp. Emily, we haven't got to her. She's on the other side. Creepy Crimson Girl on a Swing. Spike. Oh, Mr. Punchy. I like Mr. Punchy. Yeah, Ghost Faced. You saw him at the beginning. Really? Yeah, and his giant death ray, that is his name. That's the big guy that we saw. And Ringmaster is the first guy. We didn't know his name off. What'd you say? It smells like cotton candy in the fun house. All right, let's go check out the fun house. These are always cool, y'all. Definitely go through here if you come. Ooh, look. Oh, it does smell like cotton candy. That's awesome. This is cool. And they have like the fun house mirrors. I'm just waiting for something. Funhouse mirrors. Yeah, it, smells like it smells really good in here, yeah. Which is kind of a contrast to the outside being all scary. This smells really, really good, like cotton candy. I'd say he's the coolest one. Young grouchy flame spitter. Barnaby the bear. Give it to us, Barnaby. Good job, Barnaby. <laughs> oh, spider guy's not working. All right, so let's check out Victor and Emily. Victor is not here, but Emily is. And apparently they interrupt with each other. I do. Oh, gosh, she's wow, she's really loud. She's pretty tall, you too. the bride. Fascinating. Okay. So here's what the whole, this is the sideshow. Inside here is what smelled like the cotton candy. Then you got your shooting booth over there. You got your Zoltar machine in the corner. And then you had the ringmaster and stuff up there in the front. Pretty neat. I have to say, I like the animatronics this year. Yeah? I like them a lot. Which one was your favorite? Uh, I like the guy, even though he's spooky, I like the clown that follows you. I think that's pretty yeah. innovative. Yeah. And pretty cool. What about you? Yeah, I think he was the coolest one. I, I do like the Corpse Bride, too. I'd like to see how she interacts with the Victor. Yeah. All right, let's keep looking. Christmas one year, we got the we got a Disney one for our back porch when we were living in Orlando, and it lasted probably a week. So mm -hmm. I wonder if these last a little longer. I, I mean, I like them. I like, like, the, the ghost guys here. You got some bats up here, and you got some, like, Corpse Bride-looking ones over there. I mean, they're cool, but how long do they last, you think? Got some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Look at Operation. He's cute. We got these. Oh, we got Zero. 
Boogie boogie. Boogie boogie. <gasps> Snow glow. That's cute. Feed your dog. Feed your dog. You can see his How ribs. Cool is this? Some haunted mansion stuff we'll look at in a second. Check out some of these posters. Look at the cups. For Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, a little paper. The Shining peeking in there. Pretty cool. Let's check out the Haunted Mansion stuff. It's pretty cool. They have the bust. A magnet set of the bust. Every year they have a pretty good Haunted Mansion collection, in my opinion. We actually have that. Our tour begins here one for the house. Graveyard. Tabletop projector. Tabletop protector. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's it a little uh, different, like insignias from the haunted mansion. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Got the the travelers. In case you're a person who is hitchhiking ghost. Oh, that's cool too. Yeah. The stretching room portraits. That's a pretty cool sign. There are three rules. Keep them away from bright light. Don't get them wet, and never feed them after midnight. Oh, cute little gizmo. Oh, and then they have these guys from the uh, Killer Clowns movie. Oh, that's cool. Got some Hogwarts signs for you. Oh, the monster book. Check it out. I like that. Oh, nice. He likes the no feet pillow cover. Diagon Alley. All of Anders. Some more Killer Clowns. Look at him coming out of the toilet. I remember that scene. The popcorn. Fantastic. Oh, check out the gremlin. Check out Gizmo and his little car. Ghost faced. Frankenstein's monster. Killer clowns. Oh, check it out. This is scary as well. Golden Girls. Gotta love some Golden Girls. Did you see in the new Deadpool movie? He actually has all of their names on his swords. Beetlejuice. I still love this one. The Beetlejuice, Beetlegeist one, the Exorcist. I like that sign. And of course the light up one's cute too. They have. And then with the monsters they turn into, Barbara and Adam. When I was a kid, I have to be honest, that was kind of scary. Look, I mean, the eyes and the, the mouth. Look at that. <laughs> they even have a popcorn gun. <laughs> you can go all out with the killer clowns. Oh, and they have a ray gun over here. Look at that. What's wrong with this one? Look at him. He looks like derpy oh, derp. Look at the ghost dispenser. He looks like a derp. He does he's, look very he's derpy. Like a, he looks like a derpy guy. <laughs> if you ever need to stock up on fog juice, this is definitely the time of year to do that. They have tons of fog machines with fog juice, for a better word of it. Look at that. General look at the store. Tons of outfits and stuff. Look at all those sickles. Hats and masks. It's a really nice store. It's pretty big too. They actually have a lot of it blocked off. And there's the front where we came from with all the animatronics. If you come though, definitely a recommendation. Stop and check out all the animatronics. That's I think the funnest part for me every year. Got the lady outfits back here. Got a pig kit. Where does the tail go? You know, where does the tail go? What does the fox say? There's a unicorn. Oh, a dragon horn too. Paws. That's cute. Me too, hat. Me too. Let us know in those comments. You taking one of them free hugs? Free hugs, y'all. Killer clown next to him. And then Crouchy the clown. <laughs> Crouchy. Okay. You got Freak Show down here and Jester. Neon. One of the things I really find interesting too is how they like rotate in different themes like every year. Like Harley Quinn a few years ago was big. Not sure what the theme is yet looking here, uh, but even like the 80s and 90s stuff, which is here. We, there was a bunch more last year of 80s and 90s stuff. We actually got some for one of our holiday intros. You can check back in one of our 
intros from our holiday, like I think it was a year ago or two. We did like a funny intro with some 80s stuff. I'm not really sure about this one. Why does he have to be white? It's a white astronaut jumpsuit. So if you're not white, I guess you can't wear it. Seems a little racist, Spirit. If you had to choose between these two swords, which one would be more Excalibur-esque? I'm thinking this one, just because it's a little more ornate. Would you pick this one or this one? And I also like the dragon staff. That's kind of neat too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Check out this rhinestone bag. It's a football. All right, decisions were made. Got some South Park masks. I got Tally down at the bottom. You got Kenny, Kyle, Cartman, and Stan. And you got their outfits too. Oh, he's a little bat. Uh, you can also dress up in them too. Three-dimensional costume. Yeah, and there's Cartman. If you want to go a different perspective, they also have inflatable ones too of Cartman and Keeney. Oh, I missed her. Hanky to Christmas poo. Oh, and the yips guys from Sesame Street. Yep, 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 Kind of surprised not to see more minion stuff. We found a group mask, but not very much. Seeing as that new movie just came out. Oh, check it out. Scooby Doo Mystery Machine. That's a nice looking jacket. to make a name for myself today. Yeah, as said, Deadpool and Wolverine. It's funny, the gambit's not from Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh, they have the little charms. That's cute. You got Deadpool's cantatas, but they don't have the uh, B. Arthur or whatever on back at all. These little belts. Oh, they got a Wolverine mask. It's like clothy. Eh? Not really impressive. So they have this wall of costumes for the turtles, right? They have Leo, Mike, and Donnie. They don't have Raph, though. But the only weapons you can get are Mikey's nunchucks. Have you all seen Frozen Empire? Did you like it? I kind of like it. There's just a lot, too much going on. Not enough story. I always find it interesting, too. These ghost traps and these proton packs are always on sale after Halloween for, like, these inflated prices. Ooh, stay puff. I would totally be a stay puff. <laughs> You'd possibly consider doing that, huh? Mm -hmm. Female oogie boogie. Oogie boogie. Is it sexy boogie at that point? Oh, check out Mr. Oogie Boogie. If you haven't seen the Five Nights at Freddy movie, it's pretty good. It's not really scary though, but it's, uh, it's a pretty good movie. There's a couple jump scares, but it's definitely not too bad. Foxy, glam rock Freddy. We, we picked up this one last year. He's still yelling at me because he can see me from here. That is a creepy animatronic, really cool. Welcome to Halloween Town. This is kind of interesting. We got this two years ago, and then we got this one last year. So it's like they're re-releasing the same ones. Huh. One of Nacy's favorite shows, The Bluey. It's just so wholesome and helps me fall asleep that night. <laughs> Interesting choices here. So they have the Mickey and Minnie mixed up with Dr. Seuss. Like it's predominantly Dr. Seuss. Oh, there's some Teletubbies at the end. But then you go to Mickey and Minnie. That's an interesting collection of things here. One thing I'll tell you, if you're looking for something specific in the store, make sure you look everywhere because stuff is always mixed in different places. Like why would Mickey be next to Dr. Seuss, you know? What were you saying? So when I was a kid, I actually dressed up as Barbie a few times. She was like my favorite person to dress up as. So we go way back, me and Barbie. Yeah, and if you want to see Nacy in a Barbie box at FAO Shorts, check in the show notes below. Had one like that, but it was life size. One of Nacy's favorite holiday decorations, the inflatables. We got a <laughs> hearse, ghost face, jack-o'-lantern thing. Dual mask of snake. The snake is new. The archway, the jack o' lantern, and the hearse. I think they've had those for a few years. Yeah. Look at this one. It's, uh... Oh, that's cool. Mars Attacks. Yeah. It's a reef. I get a little better shot for you. Texas Chainsaw. Ghost face. Eight day phone hall, eight day phone hall, eight day phone hall. Oh. 
Did you know there's actually somebody in that costume that apparently didn't have legs? In the original movie? Yeah, that's what he was saying. Yeah. That's pretty neat. I found this. It has all the QR codes for the different guys. So if you want to check any of them out, check out these QR codes. All right, that concludes our trip through Sphere Halloween for this year. What'd you think? I enjoyed it. Uh, they didn't have everything there, but it was still really fun to look at all the animatronics and hit all the buttons and do all that. Yeah, it's definitely worth it to go and see the animatronics. They're really awesome. Luckily, we found that sheet at the end, so if you wanted to see what they do at home, you can scan that sheet too. Uh, but so worth it every time. Now, I think it's a little less than last year, the display-wise, but it was still really cool. Yeah, because one year they had like the jack-o'-lantern factory and stuff, and that was really cool. Yeah. This one, yeah. <laughs> smelled like cotton candy. That was probably the coolest thing. It was really cool how, how it smelled like cotton candy. That's That would be something I would be interested in putting in my displays. And we're going to try and do a trunk or treat, so we may end up dressing up as like a group costume, or maybe we'll do individual costumes. We're not sure, so definitely stick around and see what kind of costumes we decide to do. Yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell so you get notified when I do at least three videos a week. I will come and get you guys for the next one. Ain't that the truth? Baby Ruth. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.